Okay, so this is a sub VOD review for Charlie Tango. I don't think he's in chat right now, but it doesn't really matter. He's playing Anna on Gibraltar. It's a 15 minute VOD. Let's see what happens. So like, I, what, what's interesting to me right off the bat is that this looks like it's diamond MMR, diamond or platinum. I think that that's diamond, right? That's definitely diamond. And for some reason, the enemy team is still trying to spawn camp him. So like, this shouldn't happen, I would say, in diamond games, but maybe I don't know diamond games, because maybe the bottom of diamond, maybe it's at the middle of diamond, but like, they're still trying to spawn camp them in diamond. So like, this goes to show you guys that no matter how good you get, there will still be bad players, and even if you get to masters, people still might try this shit. So I mean, this is really good positioning, because you can't get killed up here, and you're still doing damage. I think you got a kill on the Zenyatta. Um, he's healing his teammates up, and this is why you shouldn't spawn camp in this meta, because now Anna has 90% ult. So, this is right off the bat, he should be in a good position to win this game. Um, good nuke, gets his teammates alive. Pretty straightforward stuff. He doesn't look like he has a tank on his team, other than the D.Va with no suit, so this is a little ill-fated push. And he doesn't really have the best targets to nano boost. Um... The only person I would say you should know is maybe the Zarya. But now his teammate. Alright, there we go. Oh, Diva's good now. And the other Diva has suit. There's nothing really to talk about here. It's just very straightforward. Misses the sleep dart. You kind of want to hit those because now the game is hard. If he gets the nuke, he misses the nuke. So, like, this is just a mechanical error. There wasn't really. As far as play goes, I feel like his team should have known that the Roadhog was there. Like. Someone should have called like, hey, Roadhog behind, but it's Diamond, so maybe nobody uses voice comms, or maybe no one's paying attention. His Mercy came to save him, which was nice, but in order to like make the most of the situation, the Roadhog misses the hook, which was good for him, but he misses the Sleep Dart, and he misses the Nuke. And both of those are really big deals, because he could have potentially just stopped this entire engagement from happening if he had slept him. And if he had hit the nuke on him, the Roadhog wouldn't have been able to hit E, and the Roadhog wouldn't have been able to pick up the health pack. So, like, worst case scenario, the health pack would have still been there, because the Roadhog wouldn't have been able to pick it up. So, like, mechanically, you want to improve on stuff like this, because... I would say one of the biggest differences between, like, Platinum, Diamond, and Masters... Maybe this is Platinum. I can't tell how shiny that thing is. I'm not really sure what Platinum looks like. That might be Platinum, but it doesn't matter. Point is, like, I think the difference between Platinum and Diamond or diamond and masters is actually just aim like i would say mechanical skill is a majority of the difference between those three ranks um so it's diamond okay so like the only real difference between a diamond player and a master player i would say is just your aim and your ability to use your abilities like you don't like i've climbed right i i've never been in platinum but I've been in low diamond, I've been in low masters, and I've been in high masters. And to me, diamond games feel like the most brainless thing in the world. And you guys are probably thinking like, oh my god, I'm a gold player, this guy's flaming me. Like, I'm not actually flaming you. If you actually want to get out of whatever bracket you're in, like, just work on your positioning and work on your aim. Because you don't need the best teamwork to play McCree, you don't need the best teamwork to play Zarya. Like, you can be the team as Zarya, as McCree, and as... Um, like Anna as anything you can do a lot by yourself May May is probably one of the best heroes to climb with but like right here if he hits the sleep dart like plays like this are what differentiate a win from a loss sometimes and you need to be able to make these plays consistently because like let's say for example this Roadhog now kills him and his like mercy like suddenly the game is pretty much just lost and you really don't want that it's so like, look how hard he has to try right now, and they still haven't capped the point because they're dealing with this Roadhog. Like, his teammates have not capped the point yet. I mean, somehow the red team, I don't know what the red team's doing, but... Um, point being that you want to have done that quicker, because time, everything that matters is time. Very good aim. Decent heals, like, no, no problem. Good positioning, because at least he got behind the forklift. But I think right now you want to be using Anna ult immediately. Like, just give it to the D.Va here. There's no reason not to, in my opinion. Because you get it so fast with the D.Va on your team that you might as well just keep using it. Yeah, like, but you could have done this earlier, for sure. Good attempt here to keep your... Oh, you kept him alive. That's good. 
Again, you want to hit that. Every time you hit something like that, it's just an easier game. Because, like, if you had hit that, the McCree could have killed him. Just, like, work on stuff like that. Like, Roadhogs and Winstons are probably the easiest people to hit, so you should, like, be hitting those. I guess. I'm not trying to, like, be on the spot, but... This is good positioning. Just stay in the back. Um, no real reason to push up, I guess. Especially if you have three on the cart. It's just better if you can sit in the back, so that was good. Good sleep. Kept your mercy alive. And this is what I mean, like, these games are so one-sided sometimes, like, even in Diamond, you just have to, if, like, he's hitting his shots, like, you're healing really effectively, you got your Ana boosts up, you haven't died yet, like, it's a very straightforward game. Yeah, that was good that you used it. I think you hit that sleep dart, but it didn't matter. Good aim, good aim. You and the Widow are in the back. Their comp's trying to deal with you, but... This is why Anna's so good, because Anna just shuts down like half the heroes in the game. Like Even if they try to dive her, if you hit your sleep dart here or something, you'll be in good shape. Right here, you probably want to back up because half your team's dead. Like, your team, you should know that. I mean, I don't know if you're going to make the call. I don't know if you're in comms with them or if anyone's talking. But once you lose the Mercy and the Widow that first time, it, you should kind of try to, like, live because you're getting your ult up, but now your teammates are just staggering their deaths. And this is one of the biggest problems. I, uh, that's a good res, actually, so maybe I'm wrong. Good sleep dart. I instantly woken up, though, before you get the nuke off. Good positioning, good positioning. Got by Winston, unfortunate. Winston forgets about you. You and the Mercy are doing a good job of keeping each other alive. Your positioning is good. I mean, you could try to get up on the high ground if you really want. It's just harder to deal with you. Um, less risky. You don't, like you probably wouldn't have died there. If you had done that. Your Mercy is doing a lot of work though, so like your team is actually doing well. Nothing you could have done there, I don't think. I mean, if you hit your sleep dart, obviously, but it's a little hard to hit your sleep dart. Embodying your real flame here by telling your Widow to switch off Widow to something useful. Like, nah, dude, I'm gonna play Widow, and you're just like, alright, fuck. Just keep building your ult as fast as possible. Oh, you shouldn't have woken him up, because you just left him there. I guess it's not the worst, because he doesn't do anything, but... You don't really want to have to do that. You should just be staying in the back right now. It's like hard right now because you want to ult this D.Va, but the D.Va is not really the best hero to be ulting. I mean, maybe give it to the Zarya this time because the Zarya has so much charge. I would have probably liked for you to try to sleep dart that Reinhardt that was charging. I don't know if it mattered, but um, I feel like you could have. And I probably would have Nano boosted the... Zarya there, because the Zarya had full charge, and then full charge Zarya is just amazing. You guys are just getting rolled, because you don't have any speed now. Good sleep. Unfortunate. But like, yeah, you, you need something better on your team right now. Like, I don't know how much more you can do um, at this point. The fucking Widowmaker, why? Like, obviously you need the Widowmaker to switch off Widowmaker, but this is what happens, and this is why people lose games. Like, And like, I want people to realize, let's talk about this for a second, guys, because we're going to go on a rant. When I say, like, when I play my games, right, you guys will be like, oh my god, Flames winning games in Diamond and Low Masters, like, really easily. Like, it's because of shit like this. Like, it's not because everyone's, like, a bot all the time. Sometimes people are bots, but 
most games you get someone on your team that's just a troll. So like think about it this way, right? You're playing Overwatch, and every time you get a win, you get 20 points, right? Let's say you get 20 points. Let's be let's say 25. We'll say 25 for the sake of arguing. And every time you lose, let's say you lose 30, right? So every time you win two games and you lose one, you only really gained like half a win, maybe, maybe a little bit more than half a win. I mean, sometimes you'll lose 40 points, sometimes you'll lose 60, not 60, but sometimes you'll lose 40, sometimes you'll gain 20. So if one in three games has a troll in it, you'll never climb MMR. Does that make sense? Because if you lose one game, you sometimes have to win two to get it back. Um, and all it takes is one troll to ruin your game. So I want you guys to realize that, that sometimes when you're trying to grind, it's not going to be the easiest climb, even if you feel like you're really good. Like, I feel like here you deserve to win this game, right? And like, I would agree that he is, he deserves to win this game. So I'm watching Charlie here and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, what's this Anna doing wrong? And there's not really much that he's doing wrong. He has hit his entire peak of like skill at least right now. Like he could have hit a few sleep darts for sure. He could have maybe ulted someone that was gonna die or like use his ult a little differently. But for all intents and purposes, there's not really much he can do about the outcome of this game. His team needs a healer. He probably doesn't want to play Lucio, that's fine. Um they need a Lucio though, for sure. Every team needs a Lucio, I would say. I don't think Anna Mercy's that good. Unless you're like damage boosting and nano boosted hero, which is pretty scary, but you don't have a hero for that. Um, but as far as this game goes, like he's not going to win it, even if he's playing incredibly. Like he's playing good now, he has to play twice as good on defense. And that's really the problem, I think, with some of the people's mentalities in this game is like, I tilt like no other. Don't get me wrong. Like, you guys will see me rage and I'm like, Fine, I'm like get off Widowmaker, why are you so shit? Like, I don't actually say why are you so shit to them, but I say it to you guys and they don't hear it. But like, it, that feeling of helplessness is why Overwatch really makes people tilt is because no matter how good this guy plays right now, he has to, he has to overcome his Widowmaker. He hasn't, not only does he have to beat his team, he has to beat the enemy team, he has to beat his own team, because his Widowmaker just does not want to switch. And that's a really good nuke, it hit like four people, he wants the nano boost, but he doesn't even have good nano boost targets, his Diva's out of, he has a Tracer now. The McCree doesn't do good with the boost, Diva has no suit, so he's just sitting here, and there's really nothing you can do, because he doesn't have a Reinhardt. Right, that's a good shot on the tire. Your aim's pretty good too, like, that's a pretty good shot. But your team, like, you, you're sitting on these ults because you have to, not because it's like... Like, he has to wait for this deer to be alive to alter. There's alter now, you might as well. And the fact that you guys don't have a Reinhardt is you're, you're gonna lose every single fight because you don't have a Reinhardt. Yeah, I've never tilted in my life, actually. I was just using that for argument's sake. What's up, radio? Sarah, Sarah with the sub. But you see, like, what are you supposed to do here? I mean, you gotta hit these, man. You have such you have such good aim when you're scoped, like just hit your sleep darts. You'll feel a lot better by yourself. <laughs> Not that you need to hit that one, but it's good. Get them to find. It would have been nice to have hit this sub. Or to have hit that, um. But now your teammate has switched to Reaper because he's like, alright. I'll try to win now and this is what happens all too often you have the hanzo main the hanzo main does nothing and you're like okay what do i do and the hanzo's like all right guys it's overtime time to switch heroes and maybe you'll get a sick ult right now on your hanzo or not your hanzo on your reaper i'm so stuck on hanzo still it's a good res keeps the fight going you should just ult here honestly you have to make this push work you're gonna be taking this fight it's a little risky business for sure good oh, i guess you knew he was low the diva alive, keep the diva alive! Clutch, almost clutch actually. You didn't get them off, but look how much better your team is than them. This is why it's so stupid, right? You guys won the first two points in like 10 seconds. You guys were like, alright, we're gonna roll through the first point, we're gonna roll through the second point. You get to the third point, you don't have a Reinhardt, you don't have a you have a Widowmaker. Like you're gonna lose. But all it takes is your teammates to get on the right heroes and you win the game in 10 seconds. You guys did nothing different, you just switched your heroes. And that's really the part about overwatch is 
people think that if they stay on the like they're like all right guys you won the first two points i have gold limbs and gold damage and then you get to the second point and they're like all right i'm still rolling i'm playing widowmaker we're still winning the game and then you get to the third point and then your widowmaker suddenly is doing nothing but he probably still has gold damage because you haven't actually won a fight in 10 minutes so you tell him, hey, switch up. Like, we don't need a Widowmaker anymore. And he's like, nah, screw you, dude. I have gold damage. And that's really the problem with this game is that people don't understand when their hero's not working anymore. And the metal system gives everyone this arguing point that they're doing work when they could have been doing work five minutes ago. So, let's be real. Like, you, you played well on Anna. You didn't have the best targets to ult. You still finished the map. You still secured your overtime. But you wanted to do that a lot faster. Like, am I saying something bad about Justin? Is Justin in here? I don't see Justin in chat to defend himself. Not that Justin can really defend himself in this chat. How, why are you in this game? Oh, that's platinum. Okay. I was going to say, I thought that was silver for a second. I got real confused. Yeah, exactly. You'll tilt them into trolling just by asking them to swap heroes. Now you're on defense, and now your comp is actually really good for defense, but you still want a Reinhardt. And you're like, guys, can we get a Reinhardt, please? You even say please. Nice, dude. You did it. This is how you win games. You say please. Justin is a bot. I almost made that emote FLM Bloodsire, and that was going to be the bot emote. That's true, Sia, but sometimes you get party queue, and then it doesn't matter if you only have five chances to be a troll. <laughs> You're running Mercy Anna again? I mean, Anna's good for climbing, for sure, but Anna Mercy is going to be rough. Lucio bad, please switch. Yeah, I mean, the stuff that people say. If I fail, I'll take Farah. Your positioning is good here. Your team's a little too far up. And this is really the difference between, I guess, like you're at the edge of platinum and diamond, it looks like. So, this is the difference between diamond and platinum is that a diamond team would never do this. So like, you're the only person with decent positioning and your team is just baiting you. You probably should have. Mm, I don't know. You're screwed here. You should have just went down the stairs, I think, because now you put yourself in no man's land. See what you can do here, get your ult. That's not bad. I mean, you traded your life for 50% alt or something. It's about as good as you could have done. I would have said just go for the health pack, but I don't think you needed to die. It's good that you died when you did, because... You need to nano boost right now on that Reinhardt or something. You need to get in there and like use just use it right now. Honestly, you have two tanks in front of you. There's no reason not to, and just make this Reinhardt unkillable. Yeah, the Reinhardt flow on card. Like if you like if you had ulted them before, you would have been able like that wouldn't have happened to be honest. Oh, that's good double kill. A Roadhog there. Your position is about as good as it can get because you died when you died. Good sleep dart. I think you just res the Roadhog so now the Roadhog can fight their Roadhog. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Like, if you have Ana ult, just keep using it. Like, even on defense, just keep using it. I guess it depends too though if they have Ana ult you don't really want to use it before them like defense generally wants to save their Ana ult for their Ana ult 
Just, if you use yours and you don't kill their Ana, or like they just come back the next fight, you might lose the point. So like while I agree you should be using it early on offense, I don't know if using it early on offense or on defense is that smart. You should be trying to like counter unless you're super far ahead. And I don't really know how super far ahead he was. This is good though. That was a good ult. Team wipe. I'll be snoring. I would say just get up on the high ground right now. Like this positioning is okay, but I mean in an ideal world you probably just want to go up on that back ledge in the top right corner. It's a lot easier to shoot down than it is to shoot across. I mean, you weren't going to save that Roadhog. That Roadhog's positioning was really bad. But you just saw the Tracer go. Are you going to try to... Are you acknowledging the Tracer? There it is. You should be focusing on healing your Mercy right now because the health pack's gone. I don't know where your Mercy's health is, but... That Genji health. Tracer going for a healer's health. Your aim's actually really good, like you're hitting them. Ult him, yeah, that's good. Keep the Reinhardt alive, keep the Reinhardt alive. The second, you probably, uh, I don't know, I probably would have tried to have saved myself with that nuke instead of throwing it at the Reinhardt. Um, that's a hard decision to make though. Unfortunately, you don't get caught in that res either. But you might have lived if you had nuked the racer instead of the Reinhardt that you were trying to heal. It doesn't really matter because it looks like you're going to win anyway, but you want to prioritize your own life over... Ryan's, I think, in that situation, especially because you have res. That Mercy's not going to res you. But you never know.